So oh, here we are on the Matagorda Bay down at Magnolia Beach. We've been underneath a tornado warning for about an hour now. A home or a vehicle move to the closest substantial shelter and protect ourselves from flying debris. <laughs> Magnolia Beach. We're here again for the third time. Once again, our travels have brought us down here to southeast Texas along the Matagorda Bay, about 100 miles south of Houston. It's pretty busy down here, out on the pier right now. I'm gonna turn the camera. It's been a blustery, windy day. Well, it's been a couple of blustery, windy days. The sun came out today. Still a little bit breezy. We got somebody enjoying their sailboat out there. Jazz. Jazz enjoys the walks on the beach, don't ya? Been playing cards most of the afternoon. Decided it was time to get out and take a, a stroll. We're sure hoping to be able to get the bikes out and take a bike ride. It's just been a little bit chilly. So as we've stated in past videos, this is 14 day free boondock style camping. There's no hookups to camp out here on the beach. There is a bathhouse. I shouldn't even say bathhouse. There's a shower and there are toilets. I don't think any, any warm water. Let's come do some exploring. Well, the tornado warning expired about a half an hour ago, but now the deluge has started. It's really raining out there. And it's humid, but it's not overly, you know, warm out there. Outside it's 62 degrees, inside it's 72. And according to our little gauge, it's just about 80% humid. Yippee I ti yay. But hey, it's not snowing. <laughs>
driving through Gonzales, Texas, the come and take it town. I knew nothing about Gonzales until we drove through here a couple of years ago and did some research, and then it was like, wow, Gonzales needed Disney and Fess Parker to memorialize this town a little bit better. So this town is where the first shots in the Texas Independence War, the War of Independence for Texas, really took place. Apparently, back in the day, Mexico gave them a cannon here to help ward off uh, Native Americans that they were having issues with at the time. And when things started to get a little bit sketchy for Santa Ana, uh, he contacted them here at Gonzales and said, I'm coming to get my cannon back. So he didn't want it used against him in any upcoming issues that he was having with the settlers in the area. So he sent a, I think it was about 400 men up here. I could be wrong on that number, but uh, when Gonzales heard that they were coming, they, they buried the cannon. Well, that's the rumor. Oh, they, well, yeah, okay. So, historically speaking, rumor has it that they hid slash buried the cannon. The settlers all gathered up, and when the army appeared, they had a flag that basically said, come and get it. And there was a bit of a standoff. Um, there were some shots fired. There was some, some injuries, I think, on the, the Mexican army side. Nobody was killed. And uh, the army left. And then about six months later, the Alamo happened, so... This is one of those little towns that I do want to come spend a little time. I'm sure there's got to be a museum here. Oh, no. It... Look! Somebody... This is what my dad was talking about. We saw this last time we were here. Yeah, so this is the fairgrounds, and somebody's staying there. Lots of people staying there. A couple of people in the fairgrounds. Anyways, just a little history and our little drive back to Ant Mountains. This was, is a place that at some point I would like to come spend a day or two like we did in, Gon, in uh, Goliad. Yeah. So, one of the stops if you're interested in the War of Independence, Texas history. We'll be back. At some point, there will be a video about this town. 